Welcome back to All Books UG, the channel dedicated to reviewing Ugandan books. This is the place for Ugandan authors, Ugandan writers, and Ugandan readers. After a long, long while, today I will review this book, The Savage Avenger by Mr. Kakwenza Okirawashaija. So this is a recent release. This is a 2023 release. It's uh, published by The World is Watching Publications, and uh, it is just... 160 pages um this is how the book looks like on the cover so this book narrates kakwenza's harrowing ordeal sometime in december should have been 28 december 2021 mr kakwenza was arrested when he was arrested he disappeared we didn't know where he was for some time as a country the, free, the hashtag free kakwenza trends on social media for some time the voices for Kakwenza's release came from me and far with many demanding that whoever held him release him. The lawyers did their thing. A writ of habeas corpus was, was, was filed in court and so many things. Eventually, uh, it was revealed later that Kakwenza was in the hand of the Ugandan state. Next up, we, knew, we know that he was remanded to Chitaria. And the next thing, when he was released on bail, we saw the pictures of his back battered and bruised. Uh, the photos have went viral and they, they are still used widely to this day on the internet. That is Kakwenza's brief story. So this book captures all that story. What happened? How did his back get to that point? Why was he arrested on the 28th of December 2021? And how, when he, how he was handled upon his arrest? Now, this book, in great detail, Kakwenza says... His house was broken into. Prior to that, he had treated stuff that didn't sit down with some very, very uh, highly placed people in authority in this country. Now, when they picked him up, they took him. Um, he was blindfolded, gagged, driven at breakneck speed, and taken to a military facility, in this, what he now describes as a military facility in this country. And there he was interrogated, made to dance in the night with bottles of water over his head, and beaten and beaten severally, and made to meet some very high profile people or at least so in a in this book. And eventually, as the pressure piled on the outside, um, the, the state had nowhere to hide him any longer, and eventually he was taken to court. Now, that is not the end of Kakwenza's story, fortunately. Kakwenza eventually escaped from the country, despite the court holding his passport, despite the court only releasing him on bail, and he is now in German, and that's where he wrote this book from. So this book also tells us, not in so much detail, I am disappointed, but you'll have to find for yourself when you read the book, how he got to German. Now, when he got to German, how um, life made a culture shock in Germany, having run away from Uganda after the harrowing ordeal of all the things that he narrates, the graphic things he narrates in this book, and the very savage things, when he gets to Germany and he's trying to settle in, and in a very typical Kakwenza style, using all those big pompous words, he talks of how he gets there and is shocked to see people at the beach, literally walking around naked. For someone who had been in Uganda, where our traditional wear are the Kanzu and Gomez, each of which goes beyond the ankle, uh, I guess he really was shocked. And I could just imagine the, 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 the shock on his face when he saw that in Germany. But the most important thing from this book is that. He also briefly talks about his other books. So Kakwenza wrote some two other books. Um, so he wrote The Greedy Barbarian, which also landed him in trouble. And again, the, the advantage of this book is that he talks about that other side of the trouble. And then in the aftermath of that arrest, he wrote another book, um, Banana Republic, We Are Writing Histories of Us. Both books are narrated in this book. So if you if you're to buy one Kakwenza book, this book will be for you. It will give you a brief of all that Kakwenza has been through, his writing, the awards, and things of the sort. So this book is officially available now. Uh, I received a copy. The copy was sent to me for this purpose, for me to read and review. But I know that it has not yet hit Ugandan bookshops. At least I've been there recently and I haven't seen it. But I know you can get a copy on Amazon. And uh, if you ever get a chance to read this book, please I hope you read it and enjoy it. Till next time, see you.